Hi, my name is Dan and welcome back to the Forex Boat YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to teach what is Elliott Wave Theory and how you can use it to trade the Forex market. Uh, as we proceed through this tutorial, we're going to cover several topics, starting with the rules of Elliott Wave Theory. We'll then proceed to the key, be uh, key benefits of trading with Elliott Waves, followed by a current example of Elliott Wave Theory using the Australian dollar versus the US dollar. So let's get into the rules of Elliott Wave Theory. Many of us as traders are aware of trend following markets and expressions like the trend is your friend. Uh, and on a week to week and day to day basis in our trading, we try to take advantage of the trend as much as we can. And I think, you know, starting from a very simple basis, this provides us with the foundation of what Elliott Wave Theory helps us achieve as traders. Because essentially, Elliott Wave Theory goes a level deeper uh, when analyzing trends. It basically breaks trends down into waves. Now, typically, these waves can be analyzed on any time frame uh, on the chart. However, uh, most reliably, we feel they can be used intraday on the four hour chart. Uh, they are also effective on different other time frames. Today we're gonna though, when we look at our example of the Australian dollar, US dollar, we're going to look at the four hour chart, which for intraday speculative day traders, we feel is the most reliable when it comes to analyzing Elliott waves. Let's just cover some of the key rules here that we need to understand uh, when breaking down these waves that you can you know, revisit whenever you like to, you know, as you work on memorizing them. So the first is that within a trend, there is five impulse waves that you are going to see on the charts. And they are followed by what we call three corrective waves. Okay, so these are, this is terminology that is used when analyzing Elliott wave theory, when you identify a trend on the chart, and when you're trying to isolate these particular waves, these are the numbers that you're looking for. You're looking for five impulse waves, which are waves that are moving in the direction of the overall trend. And then that subsequently followed by three corrective waves that are moving against the trend. Okay. A few other rules, which you will see later on the charts, is that wave, the second rule is wave two never retraces more than 100% of wave one meaning the magnitude of wave two can never be more than the magnitude of wave one. Next, wave three cannot be the shortest of the impulse waves, okay? Now, when we get to the charts on, on the Australian dollar, US dollar example, I'm going to revisit these rules so that you can see them in practice. Next, wave four does not overlap the price territory of wave one. Lastly, wave five must close higher than wave three, okay? So these are the key rules when it comes to analyzing waves because when you're analyzing a chart and trying to identify Elliott wave, you know, is this actually an Elliott wave pattern, right? That is something that is somewhat subjective, right? Because as we analyze charts, as, as, as you know, if we wanna call ourselves chartists, you know, what one trader sees on the chart might not necessarily be viewed identically by another trader. And so it's important to have some set of rules in place that can help you verify what, you know, whether what you're looking at actually is holding true to Elliott Wave Theory. And so that's why these rules are there so that you can independently verify whether certain price action on a chart, on a certain instrument, on a certain time frame, is abiding by Elliott wave theory. If it is, well then you very well can be looking at something very powerful because it will then help you determine what your next entry is on a particular trade with a higher level of confidence. And a lot of trading, as we all know, is about making high probability decisions. Right, trading is an exercise in high probability decision making and timing, right? As they say, timing is everything. And that couldn't be more true than when it comes to trading. And we're gonna talk in a little bit about why Elliott wave theory and trading with Elliott waves will 
improve the timing of your entries and improve the timing of your exits, which when it comes down to your overall results as a trader, you should see a massive impact over time. And so let's continue there because we're now getting into the key benefits of trading with Elliott Waves. Now we have, we've listed here six key benefits, which I'll go through one by one. First is we're, what you're doing when you're trading with Elliott Waves is you're harnessing the power of the market's fractal nature. Okay, now what is a fractal? A fractal is a geometric structure that appears in proportional sizes from small to large, but basically the, the, the geometric structure or shape is repeatable, right? And how often is it when we look at, you know, this is not just referring to, you don't just see fractals in the financial markets or in chart patterns, you see it in nature throughout, you know, different walks of life. And so, uh, you know, many times they talk about the universe being fractal in nature. Uh, and so, uh, you know, what you're doing here is you're basically t harnessing or tapping into something quite powerful, more powerful than you would probably realize until you really learned the nuts and bolts of Elliott wave theory, which is what we're covering today. And so when, you know, sometimes when you, in hindsight, many times traders, when they look at a particular set of price action on a weekly or a monthly chart for a particular currency pair, let's say, how often does it happen where, you know, we'll look at a chart at the end of a particular year, let's say the end of the 2019 calendar year, and we'll say, oh, okay, I see dollar yen did this price action. Uh, you know, I really thought that was going to happen back in month six or six months ago. This is what I envisioned happening with dollar yen. So why didn't, why wasn't I able to take advantage of it? And many times it's because you weren't able to identify at that moment earlier on that you were actually looking at something, you were understanding something beyond just, you know, blankly looking at a chart, which is the market was moving in a larger fractal, which you can dissect now into smaller and smaller and smaller fractals on the shorter term charts, which for many traders is what they want. A lot of traders in the market these days want to be day traders, short term traders, which, which touches directly on point number two. By learning Elliott Wave Theory and understanding it well, for many traders, this will help them realize their day trading aspirations, okay? There are millions of traders in the market today around the world, many of whom want to be intraday traders. They want to be into multiple trades per day. They want to be taking advantage of multiple uh, you know, opportunities that present themselves each day, which in and of itself is not a simple exercise. And many times, many day traders struggle because they wind up, and this is gonna get into point number three, they wind up chasing the market, right? Because their eagerness to be into and out of trades, right? Of course, if I place, let's say four trades per day, of course my goal is to be profitable on all four of those trades or else I would not get into them. The issue can come in is when you're getting into the trade because you see the market moving and you're chasing where the market is going. This, we, this is often a common you know, behavior pattern in especially newer traders. And so what Elliott Waves helps you do is it helps you to uh, maintain, maintain your aspiration there, maintain your goal of being able to place and profit from you know, more than one trade per day, but doing it in a very systematic and precise manner, right? So not trading just for the sake of trying to get into a trade and trying to catch a profit when the market's moving, let's say after a news event, which is you know so commonly looked to for as a source of profits. Rather than chasing the market, being able to place more than one trade per day in a very precise manner based because you know how to identify these particular Elliott waves within a trend, right? Within a trend. So Point number four mentions increasing the precision timing of trade entries and trade exits. Now, when we look at the Australian dollar, US dollar example here in a couple of minutes, I think this will become very evident to you. But basically, a lot of times in trading, especially if you're trading with leverage, 
which so many traders in the market are these days, and some of them are trading with high leverage, right? The timing of your of your entries and exits is really key uh, because you might be right in a certain direction, but if your timing is off, so for example, if you're if the market pulls back against you a certain number of pips before it moves in your direction, depending upon how leveraged you are, that might not that might be enough to shake you out of your trade before it actually is able to develop the way that you envisioned it. And so Elliott waves will help you improve the timing of your entries. In another another way of saying it is they, they will enable you to become more patient. They will enable you to become more patient and allow the trade to develop the way that you are envisioning it develop with the use of Elliott waves. Without Elliott waves, day trading on a, on a short-term nature, in many cases, you're almost flying blind. In many cases, if you're, if you're, if you're not incorporating Elliott waves, in some way, uh, some way, shape, or form. Okay, uh, and the next point is an extension of, of that point, which is Elliott waves. I think also, <clears throat> you know, allow you to become both a trader and a student of the market at the same time. Okay, if you look at many uh, superior athletes in, in different sports, many of them describe them. Many pros describe themselves as students of the game, right? And in trading, you want to become a student of the game. Of course, you're a trader. You will always be a trader. Uh, being a student of the game won't change that. But what it will do is it will allow you to uh, look at the market, not just from a perspective of uh, a, a money-making creating device or, or a way to extract uh, you know, monetary reward from analyzing the markets. Once you start to use uh, a system like Elliott Waves, I think it will help your curiosity and your, uh, your your curiosity in the market increase because you're going to think more along the lines of, well, is this going to really develop the way that the Elliott Wave says it will, right? And I'm now at point two, and I'm now at the end of wave two. Is this actually going to move down to wave three? And if it does, will I be really will I be given that optimal entry price to buy? if that occurs. So if you see what I'm driving at here, basically you're, 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 you're really looking at the market from two dimensions rather than one, where you're, you're no longer strictly a trader looking to grasp for profits at any chance that you possibly can, and you're more analyzing the market like a real pro chartist, okay? And that will increase your longevity. What that will do is that will take you from a trader who might be in the market only for a matter of weeks or months to a trader who really has the potential to trade for much longer than that for years and start moving towards some of the goals that so many traders have of being money managers at some point or you know uh, you know get, getting different licenses as a trader you know, this will help you know learning a, a system like Elliott waves will help put you down that track and that leads to point number 6 which is this is helping you take the trend is your friend expression to the pro level because there is uh, there is a lot of credibility behind the expression the trend is your friend it has lasted for decades uh, you know in the markets because there is uh, there is truth and power to that expression now what you're doing by incorporating Elliott waves into your trading is you're use, you're making the trend is your friend but you're taking it to a pro level you're taking this to a level where you can enter and exit trades with such a higher level of confidence because you're you're dissecting the trend so precisely, much more so than you could do without the use of Elliott waves. So let's move on to our example, our Australian dollar, US dollar, four hour chart example. That we mentioned at the earlier set of the web of the tutorial. Let's pull up the four-hour chart here of Australian dollar, US dollar. And what do we see here? So this is a four-hour chart. Okay, this is a recent example. We're now entering the trading week of May 18th, 2020. Okay, and so this is price action that we've seen on the four-hour chart leading up to now, leading up to the present moment. And you can see on this four hour chart within this trend. So what you can see here and what should also be the case, although it is not a rule, although it is not a rule, 
what you can see and what often should be the case is that within these different waves, so here we've identified wave one, two, three, four, five, okay, followed by the potential three corrective waves, which we're now looking for in the future. What, what do you notice first about, and we're going to, like I mentioned earlier, we're going to revisit uh the rules of the of the of the elliott wave uh patterns but what you'll notice first and probably strikes your eye first is that there is a trend line that is holding very precisely throughout these what we highlighted here in red these five waves notice they hold the entire time and on this trend line and this is a four our chart. So there's a lot of times, you know, long-term traders feel sometimes that trends really only hold for long-term chart, long-term price action charts. So for example, weekly chart or monthly charts. But you can see here, this is really holding true on a four-hour chart. So this is what I was driving at earlier when I mentioned for those of us, which are many that want to be active day traders in the market, but increase our precision and thereby increasing our profitability, you can see just visually here how Elliott Wave Theory can help take your, tra take your trading to another level. Now, I mentioned we were going to revisit the rules of the, of the wave analysis. So you can see here we have wave one, okay, which concludes at this point, and then we have wave two, here from point one to point two. Now the first rule we said was wave two can never retrace more than 100% of wave one. So we can see here that that in this case, this held true. Okay, so as we started to identify this price action, so as we were looking at a four hour chart and, and started to identify this price action, we could see that this Australian dollar, US dollar pair and the price action is starting to set could very well be the beginning of a Elliott wave pattern. And the sooner that we identify that, the better off we are, right? The better, the faster we can look to lock in some profits and enter some, some nice trading opportunities. Now, if we look at wave three, which we can see from point two to point three, this is wave three, the, it must be the case that wave three cannot be the shortest of the impulse waves. Okay, and so across all five of these waves, we see that it is definitely not the case that wave three is the shortest of the impulse waves. In fact, it looks that wave three is the longest of the impulse waves in this case. Okay, the next rule is that wave four, okay, which is this wave, wave three point three to point four, wave four cannot overlap with the price territory of wave one. Okay, so essentially, uh, wave four has to be close higher at a has to close at a point that is higher than wave, where wave one ended, and we can see here visually that that is the case. Okay, and then lastly, wave five must must close higher than wave three. Okay, and we also see here writing up. From wave four to wave five, we can see that wave five closed significantly higher than wave three. So in this example of the Australian dollar, US dollar, we can see very clearly that it held very precisely to our rules of Elliott wave theory. And it's a relevant and very recent uh, example of how this, uh, this theory can you know, really work in your favor and be a powerful tool uh, to add to your trading arsenal. Many traders already are using powerful analysis in other ways, which is fantastic. Uh, and so if you don't already have Elliott Wave Theory in your back pocket or as a tool that you're using, I think you'll find it can really work well for you, work wonders in your trading. Now we can see here in this Australian dollar, US dollar four hour example, we are now entering the corrective phase, okay, if you will, of this of this pair, where we're looking now to see these three corrective waves take place. So remember, there's five impulse waves, 
uh, with Elliott wave theory, followed by three corrective waves. And we can see the price action here. We're just actually moving in through the, finishing through the first corrective wave. And so this could be a, you know, a trading opportunity that traders can look at heading into next week, just pulling up here the MetaTrader 4 platform just to take a look. You know, we can see that heading into the week of May 18th, 2020, uh, the Australian dollar, US dollar will be offering favorable prices for the corrective, you know, continuing through these corrective waves that we're mentioning. So as we, as you know, when you get to the point of wanting to make an actual trade, you would simply just pull up your MetaTrader 4 platform and go ahead and action your trade as you see fit. So with that, we're going to conclude today's tutorial on Elliott Wave Theory. It's been a pleasure speaking with you, and we look forward to seeing you here from Forex Boat in the next tutorial. Take care.